Deputy Commissioner of Police Acting Calvin Brutus on Monday made his second court appearance at the Georgetown Magistrate Court. When Brutus appeared before Acting Chief Magistrate Faith McCutsey on Monday, he faced an additional 201 charges. This now means that Brutus is currently facing a total of 231 charges. Neatly decked out in a suit, Brutus arrived at the Georgetown Magistrate's Court in time for his hearing, which was set for nine hours. He was accompanied by several lawyers. To save time, the details of all of the charges were not read individually to Brutus. Instead, Acting Chief Magistrate Faith Magusti informed the court that there are 201 new charges. All of those charges were for the offense of liability of an official, which essentially means Brutus is answering for his actions or inactions. Brutus is the first person to be charged with this offense by the Special Organized Crime Unit called SUKU. He was not required to plead to the charges. In fact, the prosecution informed the court that the state will be proceeding with the charges indictable. This means Brutus will not be allowed to plead to the offenses before the trial commence. In their application for bail, Brutus lawyers reminded the court that he was already placed on $6.2 million bail on the previous 31 charges that were for misconduct in public office and obtaining money by false pretense to larceny, money laundering, and liability of an official. The charges were laid by Suku and stemmed from financial crimes relating to hundreds of millions of dollars belonging to the Ghana police force. However, the application was strongly opposed by the prosecution, who asked that Brutus be placed on substantial bail, particularly considering the amount of money involved in the case. The prosecutor also reminded the court that the investigation also resulted in frozen bank accounts. Those accounts contain millions millions of dollars belonging to Brutus and his wife Adonica Alder, who is a co accused in the case. After listening to both sides, the magistrate imposed bail in a sum of $50,000 per offense. Altogether, Brutus' bail is $10.05 million. Brutus is set to appear in court again on January 17, 2025 for these new charges. Monday was also set for report and statements for Brutus co accused Alder, his driver Sergeant Kevin George and businessman Asif Zafrali. However, statements were not available as such the prosecution requested additional time and they were asked to return to court on December 18. On that date, Brutus is also expected to reappear concerning the first 31 charges he faced. The charges were laid by Suku following a comprehensive investigation in line with legal advice from the Director of Public Prosecutions. Brutus has, however, maintained his innocence. Reporting for the newsroom, Charda Bacchus.